Hi, I'm Megan Reamer. And I'm her husband, Scott. We're asking for $1.25 million for 5% of our business, Jackson's yes, Honest. We are on a mission to fundamentally disrupt the $20 billion snack food industry. We make the most delicious potato and tortilla chips cooked in 100% organic coconut oil. We learned a lot about the benefits of coconut oil when caring for our son, Jackson. Jackson became very sick with a rare disease, and over many years of trial and error, we realized that a low-carb, high-fat diet really helped his condition. Coconut oil played such a profoundly important role in Jackson's diet and our lives that we started making everything with it at home. Tortilla and potato chips included. And we'd give these chips to our friends and family, and they all insisted that they were the best they'd ever had, and for years, encouraged us to sell them. So we did just that. We founded Jackson's Honest with the mission to reintroduce this healthy fat back to the snack aisle. Can you hand us the packaging, too, for many of them, mm. so we get? I have to say, these are absolutely delicious. Oh, my god. Oh, thank you. Why are <laughs> Let me start by commending you on a product that is absolutely disrupting the food and beverage space. Thank you. Thank you so much I for always look for stuff that is breaking the mold of what's out there today. So this is worth $25 million, is what you're valuing the company at. That's correct. So that's a hefty valuation. It is. Walk me through that, and how did you get there? Tell us about the sales. Last year was $10.1 million. There you go. Wow. What did you do the year before? The year before was 5.4. And before the year that, before? 1.4. Are you profitable? Not yet. OK, how much are you losing? We lost, last year, about $1.7 million. Why is Ooh. that? Food, as a general rule of thumb, is a difficult business from a margin standpoint. It takes a lot of money to produce products. What's your margin on but these? But why were you losing that much money last because year? Because we grew so fast. Yes. So getting shelf space is actually quite an expensive endeavor. You paid uh, slotting but that's, fees? Okay. But in the natural channel, it's not slotting fees, it's free fill. So we give away, literally, right. cases of our product in order to gain that shelf space. What does that add to your cost? Last year, it was about 18%, 18.4%, very that's large. Huge. So at what point do you become profitable? Next year. Pretty next soon, year. Really actually, yes. We're we've really got it modeled close. out. How much money have you raised, if any, for this company? We've, from friends and family, we've raised in equity $3 million. Oh, wow. Woo. Wow. So how much of the company do you still own? Two thirds. Two, Two thirds. thirds, okay. This year, what's the forecast? Uh, the, we have between 13 and 14 million run rate right now for this year. So run rate means you're doing about a million a month, million. Uh, we million just two? had our largest uh, month ever in May, 1.42 million. Wow, your biggest customer, Whole Foods? That's correct. Correct. So of the 12, 13 million expected this year, how big do you think Whole Foods would be? Whole Foods will be approximately 13 percent of that. 13. 13. That's it. There are lots of other competitors out there, and frankly, it's one of the risks here. At a 25 million dollar valuation. I see more risk than opportunity. Not for me, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. All of us are entrepreneurs and we know the grind. We want you to succeed, but you know, the numbers matter. And it's a $25 million valuation. That's literally how much you have to produce in profits in order to return my investment. I don't see the margins growing quick enough. And so for those reasons, I'm out. The grocery space is notorious for eating business is alive. Yeah. And so for that reason, I'm out. Megan and Scott, 1.25 million is a lot of money. And I feel that the amount of equity that I'm getting for that needs to be a lot higher. But I also feel the value I bring will justify what I'm asking for. The 5% is way too low. It needs to be more like 20%. 20%. 20%. 20. That's a very difficult offer to entertain because it, we have done so much in such a difficult space, as you know. It also 50. means when you raise your next round, you have no equity left. It, Scott, it, make a good. counter. What would uh, you like to do? How about 1.25 for 7.5%? I love it at 17.5. Ooh. Sorry, we can't do 17.5. 17.5, too steep for you. It's too steep. Rohan, would you accept 1.25 at 10%? You and us together could make Jackson's Honest a brand that everybody knows about inside of a year. At 10%, that's a big vig. That's a big number. All right, uh, my final offer is, is 15% for the 1.25. Rohan, we'd love to take your offer. Outstanding. Oh, thank God.
Wow. Let's go do this. Thank you. I love your product. It's terrific. Thanks so much. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. You've come to the right place.